How will things unfold here in game number two? I'm James Sabalski along with Ray Ferraro as EA Sports continues our playoff coverage. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Kaprizov's got it to the side. And now he moves it quickly to Spurgeon. The Blues grab possession to the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone by Zuccarello. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he angles it across to Eric Sinek. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Flurry's gonna pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. O'Reilly's relied upon to win possession, so it's something he practices often. You know, his quick draw zone ability means he's a good competitor in the faceoff dot, guys. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. The Blues have it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Pareko. Pennington's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Still lots of time left in the period. Still no score in this one. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Oh, he stops it with the glove. Great reflexes there. And the puck skips away after that move. Kairou's got lots of tricks up his sleeve, but he tries there to get around the defender. Just can't quite complete the move. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Thomas takes it along the wing. Takes a shot. Walker saving a good one by Fleury. Moves it to Thomas. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Moves it quickly over to Dumba. Shot blocked in traffic. Maintains possession. And that pass doesn't go. Puck picked up by Kairou. Can't make it work. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Fulk. Cuts into the pass. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! The Blues give themselves a little breathing room here in the first. There wasn't much to, to choose between the teams, and so now they've got the lead. Maybe they can open the game up a little bit. Taken by Barbashev. On the attack along the boards. Slides the puck down low. Sends the pass in front. Can't connect the play. Felino's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Can't make the connection on the pass. And that's blocked in traffic. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Quick feed to Parvashev. Hartman's got the puck in his own zone. St. Louis has possession of it now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Scantella. Passes on over to Neighbors. First period nearly in the books here. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Grabbed along the board by Neighbors. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Never good timing to take a penalty, but this is not good timing this late in the period. St. Louis sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a body. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. Back 
concludes period number one. I cannot believe they got one of the all-time great 90s hip-hop acts getting set to play for the fans here in this intermission. I can't wait for this. We'll come back in period number two in just a bit. Fans, tonight our world's biggest play is dropping $50. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. St. Louis goes right back to work on the power play here as they win the opening faceoff. Puck grab by Dumba. The Blues take over on possession. Minnesota's gain possession. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. St. Louis will go to work as they win the draw. Here's a short pass to Fulton. That's gloved by Fleury. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. Tarasenko's best scoring chances come from when he's shooting the puck when it's flat and settled on the ice. He has great accuracy, and we call that his snipe zone ability. Takes a shot. Oh, pad save. Tremendous agility there by Fleury. Foligno side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. O'Reilly's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And it's kicked away. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Jost ready to join the play. The Blues' man advantage is over. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through the fingers. Lots of time left in this period. The Blues have taken a 1-0 lead. O'Reilly's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Hammers it on then. Wow, what a stop by Fleury. And the puck's knocked loose. And they come up with possession off that battle. Poked away at center by O'Reilly. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Blues win it. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Gaudreau's won it. Taken along the wall by Kairou. Minnesota's got the puck here in the open ice. And he lowers the boom there. Here's a chance. That was amazing. What a save by Bennington. Into the offensive end now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Erickson Eck. St. Louis has it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Shen. Takes a shot. And he makes the save. Oh, and another big stop. Flurry's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech. You need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. And the puck's thrown away. Quick pass to Zuccarello. Minnesota's on the attack. Now a quick pass to Spurgeon. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Takes the pass. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And now he tries to get it across to Hartman. Oh, he'll feel that one. Dumped into the cross side. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Into the offensive zone. Moves the puck up to Foligno. Steps across the blue line. Takes a shot. And that one's turned aside. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. St. Louis leads it 1-0. The Blues win the draw. Moves it over to Achari. 
scooped up along the wall by Barbashev. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. The Wild have it on the attack. Huge stop by Bennington. Make the save, help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Keeps hold of the puck. Moves it to Saad. Pass broken up. Hartman's got the puck along the wing. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Here he is in front! in the late stages of this second period. Working to get this game back to square has not been an easy road, but now it's a short game as we enter the last little bit of the second period. Musa quickly over to Jost. Passes it to Duhay. That brings period number two to an end. Uh, the ice resurfacers coming out onto the ice. They'll give it a little cleaning, and I can see Ray Ferraro down there between the benches tap dancing. I can only imagine where he needs to go. Third period, just around the corner. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Quick feed to Brodeen. The Wild have it in their own zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Drills them. The Blues have it now. And the puck's kicked free. Picked up along the boards by Krug. Now he takes it over the line. Sends it into the offensive zone. Finds some space in the corner. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Takes a shot. Glove save. Flurries on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Here's a short pass to Thomas. And a nice save there as play continues. Flurry's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. Gaudreau's won the draw inside his own end. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by Pareko. The Blues have it against the wall. Centering feed. He scores! What a goal! The Blues learning that patience is a virtue as they finally go ahead in the third. I don't think they have to change anything here either, James. They've had the possession, numbers in their favor. I like the way they played tonight. Quick pass to Gabarik. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Picked up along the wall by Crew. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. The Blues played along the wing. Oh, what a pass save by Fleury. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. St. Louis leads by one. The Blues win the draw. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Blues win it. Moves it to Achari. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Play 
resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Hartman. Oh, absolutely rocked him in the corner. Fires it. Simple stop by Bennington. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bennington. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kaprizov. Puts it off the outside of the frame. Minnesota's starting to generate some better chances. Here, this shot hits the goalpost, but James, it doesn't bounce for them. They still trail in the game. St. Louis is across the line and on the attack. And that's broken up. The feed. B to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Biddington's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Late goings of this period. St. Louis is in the driver's seat. They lead it 2-1 in what has been a very spirited affair. Moves it quickly over to Brodeen. Denied by Biddington. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. There he is from the slot! Denies him! Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender equal to the task. That's a good save. Krug's taking it from his own end. Loose puck battle along the boards. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Oh, I like this stop here. He makes the save, he looks in control. Momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Blues gain control of the puck. Quick feed to Tarasenko. Nice pass. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Puts it on it! Here's the horn for regulation, and it solves nothing. Overtime coming up right after this. is set to get underway. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Time to boogie. All right, listen to this place. The electricity so thick you can cut it with a knife. Sudden death over time. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Chance in front. Big time stop. Flurry so sharp on this. Reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And he takes the dish. Tarasenko's going to play it against the half wall. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Dished on over to Kaprizov. Sends it to the middle. Shot. Gives them nothing in front. The Blues gain possession. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. St. Louis on the attack. 
An easy save by Flurry. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. A critical draw here. St. Louis takes possession off the faceoff. Denies him on the play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Tosses it to Kairou. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Rocks him on the play. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Quick shot. Love save made by Fleury. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Hartman's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. The Blues go to work on offense. Here's a short pass to Achari. Puts the puck on net. Left side save. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's won the draw. Moves the puck. Into the attacking end. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Saad stick handling in his own zone. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Puck scooped up by Saad. Hooked away by Dumba. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Can't find his man. Quick pass to Achari. Puck over to Saad. Cuts to the paint. Poked away in the offensive zone by Barbashev. Dishes it to Dumba. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Slides it over with pace to Torpchenko. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Joseph's won the draw here in the open ice. Moves it to Steele. Poked away. Goes right to the crease. And he usually stops that one. Bennington's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed the cover there. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Joseph's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Goalies love making the glove save, whether it's a great save or a rather run-of-the-mill one. They love to show you that they've caught it after they've put it away. He slides it back to the blue line. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Looks to make a play over to Brown. Stays with it. Tries to get it over to Neighbors. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Oh, nice use of the boards with the paint pass. Shen's moving the puck through his own zone. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Shen. Can't connect on the pass. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. He was telling me this morning, he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. That pass goes a little sideways. Into the offensive end now. along the boards. And that'll free up the puck. Gains the zone from the right side. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. And he connects with the long ball. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. Manages to hang on. Moves it quickly over to Tarasenko. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Headman pass. 
St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Continue to play on as overtime solves nothing. Sudden death continues next. You love these moments of drama if you're a sports fan, and overtime is set to get underway. Overtime rolls on. The next one is the game winner here. And that's hooked away. Minnesota's looking to break out with their own end. Zuccarello's carrying it ahead. Quick feed to Erickson. For the win! And that's off target as it hits a body. Slides the foul over. Misses the net. Not by a lot. I guess it doesn't matter, though. It's not even a shot on goal. And now it's grabbed by Crew. Chance in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Gains the zone through center. Here's a shot! And he shuts the door on that! A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's won the draw and they'll go to work. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Kairou. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a short pass to Pareko. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Gabarik. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, just a great heads up play by Pareko. The Wild have taken possession of their own end. Receives the pass. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And he's able to handle that one. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. A critical draw here. Minnesota's won the faceoff. A feed out front. over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. Well, listen to this place popping for the home team as they pay respect and homage to the home fans who pay their hard-earned money. I think this is a cool tradition that started. I'm not even really sure if it's the last 10 years or so, but when I first saw it, I didn't think it would last. Now I'm like, it absolutely belongs. It's the right thing. Well, we had a great night of action on the ice, and we hope you certainly enjoyed it from your viewpoint, from all of us. Ray, Carlin, I'm James. See you next time.